Welcome back to Recappy. Today we are going to recap a 2019 horror thriller movie titled Sweetheart. Aloof amidst the raging terrors of a tropical island, Jennifer Reming fights an atrocious sea monster while trying to survive in the wilderness. But before we begin, please consider subscribing to this channel. Now without wasting any further time, let's begin shall we? Jennifer washes up on the coast, yells, but no one hears her because this is a stranded island. She attempted to save her injured pal Brad there. Jen tries to locate water for Brad, but he passes away before she can return. She explores the bush more and discovers a cooler box, a backpack, a few cans of coke, matches, and other personal items. Jennifer sleeps under a large leaf with rain falling down on her head that night, and there are a few things she could use. Jen discovered the head of a tiny shark just off the coast the next day, which appeared to have been torn apart by something larger. Jen watches Brad's body begin to rot and digs a hole in which to bury him. Jen notices a floating object in the middle of the sea. Jennifer swims up to it and realizes that it is her package, she dives down to see if there is anything else, but she just finds a hole on the ocean floor. This pit appears to be deep and gives off an eerie vibe. The next day, she is scared to see that his body has been dug up and torn in half by some beast. Jennifer crafts a spear to defend herself, supposing it's some kind of wild beast. She noticed an aeroplane in the sky that night. Despite her attempts to use flares and scream for aid, she was unsuccessful in attracting the plane's notice. The light from the cannon, though, caused Jen to detect a shadow on the sea. She swiftly picks up her spear and hides inside a tree trunk, terrified. She shuts her eyes and waits for it to fade away. Until daybreak, she was safe. She tries to depart the next day by building a life buoy out of her bag, but she fails. When the monster appears and seems to feel her presence, she has no choice but to sleep inside a tree trunk that night. Jen hides inside, shivering, as the creature yells and crushes the tree trunk. Her camp had been demolished the next morning when she awoke. She catches a little shark and hangs it from a tree to get a better view of the monster. She hides in a hole to keep an eye on things, but she falls asleep by accident. The shark vanished. On the wreckage, Jennifer discovered the body of another of her friends, Zack. Only the top part of his body is left. Jen saw the shape of the fearsome beast for the first time that night after using Zack's body as bait. It terrified her to death. She attempts to maintain her composure, but her terror is palpable. Jen builds a hammock the next day, believing that resting in a high area will keep her safe. Jen's position is revealed to the monster by a couple bolts of lightning, so she clutches her spear and tries not to move. The creature assaults the tree, knocking her to the ground. She tries to flee, but the creature is catching up to her. She stabs it with a spear, which enrages the monster, who slaps her away. Jen believes she is about to die, but a barrage of lightning saves her, it turns out the creature is terrified of light. She was unharmed, but her knee was gravely injured. She finds a raft drifting in the sea the next morning and swims to it, where she discovers her lover Lucas and her best friend Mia. Jen is overcome with joy and tears. They return to the island, where they drink coke and eat fish. She warns them that a monster lurks near the island and that they must evacuate quickly. They're both skeptical, but they don't seem to mind. Jen discovered Lucas's knife, which was stained with blood. She suspects Lucas and Mia of murdering Zack, but she doesn't have time to investigate. Jen makes the decision to go with their raft on her own. When Lucas and Mia notice her doing so, they intervene. Mia slaps Jen in the head with a paddle after the three of them dispute. Jen wakes up in the middle of the night, concerned about the monster, and she asks Brad to untie her, but he refuses. When she inquires about Zack, they are startled to hear Mia cry. Lucas rushes up to Mia with a torch in his hand, smashing it against the monster's back. The creature smacks Lucas and leaps into the water, dragging Mia with it as Lucas tries to reach her. Jen urges Lucas to get down from the tree he's been on all night the next morning. They decided to escape the island on a life raft with all of their belongings. Before leaving this terrible area, she turned to look at the tomb of the family who had resided on the island. Jan and Lucas are at sea, trying to find their way back home. They did, however, come across the terrible monster just a short distance from the coast. It threw the raft off balance, so Lucas pulls out the flare pistol and fires. The creature flees, but the life raft rapidly fills with water, drenching the two of them. They both believe the creature has fled, but Jan is abruptly dragged down by it. She immediately remembered Lucas's knife as she was on the point of death. 
she reached into her pocket and stabbed the beast in the stomach with a dagger. It ached and then released go of her. However, it eventually turned on Lucas, and because he lacked protective gear, he was pulled into the cave with the monster. Jen sat helplessly watching her ill-fated boyfriend pass away, unable to intervene. She washed up on the beach once more. This time, though, she was alone and without hope. That ferocious monster ripped her friends and loves apart. Jennifer had opted to confront her worst foe, the monster, instead of fleeing. She kept a diary of her adventures on this isolated island, from the little to the major, before the ultimate fight. She hopes that her diary will help someone stuck on this barren island, as she did when she discovered the belongings of a family who used to live here. Jennifer begins to prepare the weapons needed to defeat the monster, which includes a large number of sharp sticks. She makes a formidable spear out of a bone from her deceased pal Brad. She makes a circle out of hay and places a bunch of fish in the center of it. When the monster enters the circle with the fish that night, she lights it up. Because of the flames, the monster panics, and Jen dashes at it, stabbing it with the bone spear, but it slaps her and the spear slips from her grip. She tries to reclaim the spear by crawling between its legs, but the monster captures her. It is Jen's head in its palm, and she pulls out her dagger and stabs it repeatedly, forcing it to drop her. She uses the bone to slam the monster in the head, then dashes back to the shore to retrieve her wood spear. She's ready to take on the monster once more. However, after screaming, it staggers and falls down. She stabs it a third time just to be sure. As the fire spreads throughout the island, Jennifer walks away. And this is where the movie comes to an end. I hope you enjoyed it, as always until next time.